Hey guys, how's it going? Luneth here, and welcome back to another episode of my Dragon Warrior 3 Let's Play series on the Game Boy Color. In the last episode, we started out by going to the new town, uh, where we basically left the dealer there to help an old, go old guy rebuild the town. Eventually, after the town had been built up, we were able to find one of the orbs that we needed. And then after getting that orb, we then made our way to Necrogond and made our way through there. And we then met uh, an old guy basically in a shrine there who gave us an orb as well. So we have all six orbs that we need in order to basically continue the game. Since the last episode, I've also done quite a bit of leveling. I'll show you what I've done. I basically started out by having Yuna and Ark as mages. And I got them to level 34 because they actually learned a spell. I'll see if I can show you the spell. Um, they learned a spell called Bee Dragon. Can't see where it is right now. Uh, where is it? Where is it? There it is. Um, Bee Dragon. And the thing about Bee Dragon is the character basically turns into a dragon. It takes one turn to turn into a dragon and then they basically do a massive breath that kills. It doesn't kill. It does about 90 damage to all enemies on the um, battlefield. The thing is, is that's also done to Metal Slimes, and because Metal Slimes are basically pretty hard to kill in general, being able to clear the whole lot of them in basically two turns is great. So it means that any don't run, that don't run away will basically be killed. It's great for levelling, so I got them to level 34 for that, both Ark and Yuna. And I got them both to level 30 Clerics, so that I could then learn the Heal All Spell and Vivify, which are both there, as you can see. Um, heal all and vivify is obviously vivify has a 50% chance of reviving someone so if someone dies I can kind of bring them back to life hopefully and heal all obviously does a full heal so that's nice and now I've actually made it so I think Yuna is currently a fighter Ark is currently a warrior Nina is still also a fighter I intend to basically redo or change class on every character once more I'm going to turn Yuna once I've leveled her up a lot into a warrior Ark into a fighter and Nina is going to change into a sage, but we'll be uh, we'll be sorting some of that out later in time. Anyway, let's start this episode off. So we'll go outside. I think first thing we need to do is to cast return. We want to make our way to I think Lancel is the closest place where we want to go. Okay, so let's try and find the boat. Where, where does the boat actually end up here? Uh, if I cast repel quickly so I don't get attacked trying to find the boat. Ah, here we go. Okay, so we're going to basically go down a little bit and then we're just going to go straight left. I think about here is fine. Let's go straight left. Maybe down a bit more. Yeah, here we go. Okay, we'll walk onto this place. And I need to try and find, here we go, a little shrine. And let's go speak to these two people. We are guardians. We are guardians of the egg. Of the egg. When the six orbs from around the world are put on the gold stands, the legendary bird, Lamia, will appear, or will awaken. So let's do that then. We're going to go and put the six orbs on these little stands. I think all the orbs are in my bag, so I'll just go into here. So let's put the yellow orb down. I don't think there's any particular order I have to actually put the orbs down or any specific location. So we just go through them all one by one. Put the purple orb down. And on to the next one. Let's put the oops. Let's put the um what orbs have we still got the green orb? Okay, let's put the next orb onto this one, the red orb. Oh, I think I actually need to move space. No, I was. Thought I might go one more down, but I didn't have to. Uh, what else do we still have? Well, I've got quite a lot of stuff in my inventory, actually. So I'll put the blue orb there. And last but not least, I think we still have the silver orb. Let's find it. Somewhere? I hope. Wait, maybe it's in someone's inventory. 
Not there. Not there. Not there. Ah, right, Loon has it. Put the silver orb there. Loon place the silver orb on the pedestal. We have waited. We have waited so long for this. So long for this day to come. Let us pray. Let us pray. The time has come for you to rise. The sky is yours. Rise. Take flight. It's a pretty impressive bird. Right, so now I believe we should actually be able to use the bird to fly around and get to some locations that we couldn't get to before. Once it's finished doing this animation, of course. The legendary bird Lamia has been born again. Lamia is the God's disciple. Only the pure of soul may ride it. Lamia is waiting for you. Go outside and see. Oh, well, at least I need some pure of soul. Well, I believe I am, because I'm pretty sure I can ride it. So if I press the A button, yes, I can fly. So we're going to go right, and then once it's gone right a little bit, I'm going to go down. Okay, where are we going? We're going down here. We're going to go land here. Oops, I didn't mean to try and land there. We land here. So the bird seems to like automatically fly regardless of whether I'm holding the button down. Okay, let's have a little speak around this place. So, welcome to the castle of the Dragon Queen. This castle is the closest to the sky world above. Is he going to say the same thing? Yes, he is. Okay, let's... Go, we'll start on the left hand side, see if there's anything interesting or anyone interesting to talk to. There didn't appear to be anyone on the left side, there's someone here though. This castle is the closest to the sky world above. It is said that those earning the real title of hero will be led to the sky world by this beam of light. Interesting. That might be useful to know later in the game, or later on. Okay, so just going around the outside, it appears there's not too much in this place. So let's go to the centre by going through this door. Ah, hello. We fear the worst. The Queen has little time left. Oh no, that's not, that's not good. I can't believe how she intends to lay an egg in her weak condition. I'm very worried about the Queen. Okay, that takes us back out here. Okay, let's go back in. Doesn't appear to be anyone here. Okay, I think we can go down here. I am the Queen of Dragons. I am a messenger of the gods. If you possess the courage to battle the Demon King, I will entrust you with the Light Orb. I will pray that the Light Orb will help bring about peace quickly. Loon obtained the Light Orb. Okay, so we now have another orb. For the sake of my unborn baby. Oh, she turned into an egg. Loon softly laid her hand on the egg. There was a sound of gentle breathing. Let's make our way back out then. So we'll head outside and go jump back onto our bird.
Okay, I'm just going to fly straight south from here. I think we might also need to go a bit left. So we'll kind of drift left a little bit. Hopefully we kind of reach the desert area. And if we do, then we're kind of going in the correct direction. Okay, yeah, this is the desert area. So we just kind of go down from here, I think. Maybe a bit further left. And we'll stop here at this castle. And let's go inside. Okay, I'm going to go right here. We don't want to go to the main area there because it's just basically a little dead end loop. Oh, these enemies might be tough. We'll have to find out. Not sure what my general strategy is going to be for fighting things. Let's just, I guess, throw everyone's attacks out. Okay, so they've got quite a bit of health, these enemies now. They also appear to hit pretty hard. Okay, the mage actually didn't have too much health. Good experience, so 1,747. Okay, so we're going to go all the way right here and go up this wall pretty much I just realized I'm not actually I'm using all single target weapons at the moment I probably should sort that out okay let's just do a normal fight with let's just attack with all of these and I'll sort out the weapons I should really have a whip on at least one character probably a whip and a boomerang equipped Wow, that was a rough attack from him. Oh, nice. We got a bronze, bronze medal. Okay, so let's use... Uh, let's not use. Let's um, try and work out how I want my equipment to be looking right now. So Yuna can pass that to Ark, who should be able to equip it. Ark should also probably use the Agility Seed on Loom. Uh, we probably also want Loom to not be using a Dragon Sword, but to use the Flame Boomerang, I think. And let's keep going. So we're going to go to the left here. And we'll go up here. And up these stairs. Uh, do I go down here? No, I'm not able to go down. Let's go left. Oh, okay, right. Wow. Okay, these are amazing enemies. I haven't fought any of these really before, but they give, I think, huge amounts of experience. So this is where the bee dragon will come in handy. Because as you can see, I'm generally going to miss a lot of attacks, don't do much damage. Wow, are they all just going to run away before I even get a chance to show off the bee dragon? <laughs> oh, legitimately, they're all just running away. Oh, that's not the best. Okay, well, as you can see, Yuna Spewed Fire did 91 damage. It would hit everything and would have killed others if there were others. 10,000 experience as well per enemy. Wow, so if none of them had run, I would have got 60k experience. This is definitely the place to level up, I think, uh, if I need to do any future levelling. Oh, and we've got a bronze, um, a bronze medal, that's nice. Probably one of the harder ones to get bronze medals for, considering they're less common to fight, I guess. How's my health looking, actually? Let's just have a quick check. I can probably last one more fight before having to heal. Let's go down these stairs. Gonna make our way to the left and open up all of these chests. That's got a wizard ring. Got a misery helmet. Doesn't really sound like something I want to equip. And a demon axe. Don't know if that's actually something I want to equip or not, to be honest. 
I am about to fight the Demon King. It's probably quite effective against the Demon King. I wonder who can actually use it. Let's just have a quick look. Oh, I really just, let's let's sort of my inventory quickly. Hold on. Tidy items of everyone. Oh, I didn't mean to cast the heal. Oops. I guess we're here up then. Okay, so back to items. Let's go to the bag now, because that's where the demon axe will be. Okay, so Ark can use it, so I'll put it on Ark for now. But we won't equip it. We want to keep the whip at the moment. So we'll go down this staircase. I think we want to not go up that staircase, but just go right here. And then... Quite a um, tricky place this one to let this place navigate, so I might get lost or go wrong at some point. We'll see. Go down these stairs. I've noticed one thing with this game is you have to walk kind of so many squares before you can kind of get into a fight. And, um, oh, there's no reply, it's just a corpse. And whenever you kind of go up or down stairs, it seems to reset that whenever you kind of change place. So, obviously going through a place like this, I don't get into too, too many fights because I'm kind of not really meeting that threshold. Wait, have we already made it to the... Oh, wow. That was uh, quicker and easier than I thought it would be. Let me just kind of make sure everyone is healed up to their maximum. Uh, we, we just need to heal more so we can save a bit of mana. I, I honestly didn't think we'd get there that quick, but I guess there's so many, like I said, so many sort of up and down stairs where you're changing area that you just don't get into fights. Okay, let's attack this guy. So you've come this far, Loon. You are remarkably imputable to, impu, impudent to dare defy me, the demon lord Baramos. You will rue your defiance so that you will never return. I will feast on your intestines. Okay, I should have equipped the Demon Axe. Oh well. I should have also equipped um, a weapon on Loon. Because he's also using a boomerang. Okay, well, a little bit of a mistake there. Just going to have to deal with it. Going to start by attacking with Loon. Let's use... I want to kind of do twin hits with all the other characters. So, tw twin hits on... Like, I'll get them to cast it on themselves, so that, like this first, and I can basically pump everyone up. Then hopefully next turn I can just kind of throw everything out there and do a ton of damage. Okay, cast explode that. How much damage does that do? Oh, that's kind of rough. And he attacks twice. Okay. So I think Loon is going to basically just become a healer for most of this fight since he's only got the boomerang anyway. So might as well heal arc. I think I wanna Hmm. I've also got this spell called Bounce, which reflects back attacks on me, so I might also get everyone to cast bounce. So let's cast bounce on everyone. I think Bounce also reflects healing spells back to the caster, but it means basically if I need to heal a character, I can get them to uh, kind of heal someone else and then it will cut, uh, heal themselves. But that was a breath attack he did there, so that doesn't get reflected. Right, okay, so I think from now on I have to attack with Loon. Yuna's going to have to just heal herself. Where's her healing spells? Ah, here we go. Heal all on herself. Ark can also do heal all on himself. Nina's going to maybe do... Let's see, what can she do? Anything interesting? Um, I guess I might as well... Just, uh, no, I could probably do increase, actually. Increase everyone's defense, maybe. Although they might get reflected now, I'm not sure. Yeah, okay, all got reflected to uh, basically boosting Nina's 
defense insanely. Okay, so I think we're just going to have to attack with everyone now. Yeah, let's have a round of just attacking. Get a good bit of damage out. So this should get reflected quite a lot onto him. Yeah, so it's only Loon who's going to take damage from those things. Okay, Loon needs to heal himself for sure. Uh, Yuna can always attack with everyone else again. Kind of wish I hadn't messed up and forgotten to change the weapons because the uh, amount of damage I'm going to do is pretty bad. Oh, is that Loon down? That's not good. Okay, Yuna can heal herself. Ark is going to want to use a Vivify. See if we can bring Loon back to life. And we just attack with Nina. Okay, we'll get Loon to heal himself. And we'll just send out a whole load more attacks. Oh, nice, a critical hit. 238. Decent. Okay, we can just attack with everyone, can't we? Okay, that's going to hurt a bit. I'm going to attack at everyone again. I'm not too concerned about Nina because she's got so much defense right now from the fact that she buffed the defense three times. And she's also got the bounce. Actually, doesn't Nina have her own? She's not got any healing spells, does she? So she's actually got no way of healing herself. So I might just have to let her die and then bring her back to life, maybe. Panic all. What's that do? Not too much, that's fine. Don't know how much health this guy has, but I'm hoping we should be getting him kind of low now. Oh, nice. Bounced off a couple of my uh, bounce spells there. Oh, nice. Defeated him. 16k experience, not bad. Got a few level ups from that then. Or a couple of level ups. Ah, you, Loon, I will never give up. A warm light fills the chamber. Loon's party was fully restored. A mystic voice is heard. Loon, Loon, hear me. You have fought bravely. Now return to those who await you. Oh, we're being sent back outside. Oh, we're being sent back to uh, Aaliyah Han. Hey, Loon's back! The hero! The hero's back from defeating Baramos! Yay, yay! This, this means peace at last! Bless you and thank you, Loon. Welcome back to Eliahan. Word that you defeated Baramos has already gotten to us. Leave it to Ortega's child. It's the arrival of a young hero. The demon lord Baramos is gone. Does that mean the monsters will go away too? I want to go outside. You're the one who defeated the demon lord? Amazing! Hurry to the castle. The king must be delighted. Okay, well, we'll make our way quickly to the castle then. Uh, let's speak to this old guy first, though. So, you defeated the Demon Lord. You are a true hero. Hurry, the king is waiting. Okay, let's go. Hello. Ah, Loon. You are truly magnificent for slaying Baramos, the Demon Lord. Or take his son as triumph. The entire kingdom sings your praise. Come, let us all celebrate. Mm. 
know what's happening. I thought we defeated Baramos and everything was good and safe. And now now the uh, the guards who are playing trumpets are being zapped away. <laughs> Did I start you in your moment of celebration? My name is Zoma. I rule the dark world. So long as I live, this world too shall be smothered in darkness. Suffer and despair for me. Your suffering is my joy. All that has life shall become my sacrifice. The world will know despair. My name is Zoma, the destroyer of all. I will savour the day when you are sacrificed to me. <laughs> Huh. He didn't look very nice, did he? How could this be? I thought that peace returned. How could I tell the people that darkness will soon be upon us? Loon, Zoma, the Demon King, must be kept a secret. I'm tired. You may go. Let's go speak to the uh, other guy quickly. It is a terrible thing. His Majesty has lost his will. I will stand in his place for a short while. Okay, he's going to tell me. Oh, wow, I need 88k experience now. Goodness me. Uh, we won't be recording it right now. Do we intend to leave right away? Yes, we do. Okay, so what I'm going to do now... Pretty much getting to the end of this episode, but first thing I want to do is I want to go and turn Nina into a sage because we got a book quite a while ago quite a few episodes ago um, which would allow us to basically have one sage as the Zen book so we're gonna go use that now so let's do a quick return we'll go to Dharma now think about the sages the sages I think the sage is a combination of both the cleric and the mage kind of in one and a lot more powerful so So uh, that will kind of be the final transformation for Nina, or the final class change for her. So let's change class. Oh, actually, hold on, I need to make sure she's got the book first. Item, Nina. Or oh, it should be in the bag, shouldn't it? Or oh, it might be on Luna, actually. I think it doesn't get sorted. So we'll pass the Zen book to Nina. And it will use up the Zen book, so you only get to do it the once. I believe you can change one of the other classes to a Sage, but you have to start as that class and you can't kind of go to any other classes. So I, I don't think it's worth having more than one Sage because without using the Zen book, it's kind of bad because you can't build up other stats and stuff. Do I wish to change class? Yes. So if I go into someone like Yuna, I have this list of options, seven different options. But if we go down to... Nina, hopefully because she's got the book, we should have an extra option of a sage, which we do. So let's turn Nina into a sage. Yes. We need to try again from level one. Yes, I am. Oh, God, we beg you for your wise approval for Nina to take a new class. Fine. Nina is now a sage. Nina's equipment from the previous class has all been removed. Uh, we won't be changing any more classes today. I kind of want to level... Yuna and Ark a little bit more in their respective classes until basically get them a bit stronger and then hopefully once they're a bit stronger I can uh, swap them to being fighters and uh, to being a fighter and a warrior from what they currently are and they should hopefully be there and be pretty decent for finishing things off but I won't be doing that in this episode so let's let's now save things up since we've now got Nina as a sage so we'll go through this experience text and as for levelling, I think I'll probably end up going back to, assuming I can find enemies there now, I'll go back to the castle that Baramos was in, uh, with those metal or metaball slimes, because they seem to give huge, like 10,000 experience each, if I can just get a couple packs of those killed, it's going to be so quick. So let's save over the middle slot anyway.
I will be leaving, but only to uh, sign off this episode. So it's been a good episode. We basically finished this world, uh, but we now have a new danger in the world of darkness. So we're going to have to go and sort that out in the next episode. I'll probably do a little bit of leveling before then just to get Nina up from being a level 1 stage to being maybe like level 25, 30-ish. Something reasonable just so she can actually uh, do some damage. Shouldn't take too long for that to, uh, for me to do that at least. But anyway, yeah, so obviously a good episode. We've done quite a bit and uh, I've really enjoyed it. So let's end this episode here. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Please do comment, like and subscribe and I will see you in the next one. So see ya.